good about SCV as this satellite media. Mr. Opera do you know them. You said the day you will hear the restoration of sovereign state of Biafra, that your joy will be full, your cup will run over. These are extra from the Bible. How are you now bringing it into your mood, seeing that Biafra is restored? Now, if you go for the Bible where I quote, um, uh, uh, um, Psalm 23, what did, what did David say? He said, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You understand? Biafra land is the land, Biafra nation is the nation of my blessings. I shall not like if I go there. And the, some, David said that uh, he, uh, uh, he leaded me in what? In green pasture. He leaded me beside the still water. Now, if Biafra is restored, why will my job be over full, running over? Because the Lord has led me to the land of green pasture. The land of having a still water, a calm, a calm land. You know what still mean? Still is a where is calm, where there is peace, where the atmosphere for, for everybody. Then the Lord has led me into the green pasture, which is Biafra. He has led me beside the still water in the land of Biafra. Then why should I be happy? Why should I be happy? I shall not want. I shall not like anything again. Whether I eat or I, I did not eat, I am safe. Whether I eat or I did not eat, I will look robust. Well, where is said your table? For you in the midst of your enemies, that one will not be there. This is the devil you have said is the midst of my enemy. This is the devil you have said for me, someone can name the gallo and other Biafra in the midst of enemy as we are persecuting now. So I, when you get to Biafra, the public, the enemies will no longer be there. Ooh, the enemy nobody will because all those about us will be wiped off. And Nigerian army cannot come there and kill me anymore and kill my people anymore. Are you, do, do you understand? I'm, 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 I'm going to kill you. Eh? I'm going to kill you. If you kill my brother, you have killed me. If you kill my mother, you have killed me. If you kill my nation, you have killed me. And all these are wide allegations that is difficult to prove. Wide allegation? Don't you see the uh, father and jet that uh, something in Biafra land? But even though uh, this, um, this, um, uh, 30th May, that unknown government went and killed five people in Abba. Have you seen how many souls, individual, civilians, over that, over 300? Are you saying civilians, the, individuals you, in the houses, they go and apprehend them. Are you saying the Nigerian military have no right to protect lives and property in the eastern part of the country, if, otherwise known as, if, otherwise known as Biafra land? If Nigerian, if Nigerian, um, if Nigerian army or armed forces have, have right to protect life and properties, not only in Biafra land, also all other part of Nigeria. I think the day before yesterday, or yes, within this week we are in, a police inspector was killed in Kogi State and the house burned. Why can't the Nigerian army go there and protect life and property and protect that inspector? Did the Nigerian government give the killers an award? He give the killers an award. They give them an award. Did they applaud them? Uh, this man in Sokoto, I have forgot his name, one of the bandit leaders. That they give shaky, I mean, they give a uh, 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 sariki of a uh, uh, of a uh, of a uh, uh, of so Sokoto. Is it not among them? What award do you want again? Do government come out and condemn the killing in 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 a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a kogi or give machine I'm a machine order? Then what award do you want? You do you want when they bring a crown of gold and put it for their head before you go not they they award them? When they kill and go free, what remain there and no persecution, no talking, no tracing, no marching order? But only, only Biafra now to give marching order. Yes, yes, Nigerian army, Nigerian armed forces, Nigerian government have right to keep law and order. Yes, they have the right to yeah, keep why law and do you order. not accuse and, them? Uh, and, uh, and to secure life, life and properties. But is it the way they do in the Southeast? Is it only in Southeast that you see people break law? If we at all, we Biafra break, break the law. Is it only that place? What of the one they are breaking in Meduguri? What of the one they are breaking in, in Sokoto? What of the, the one they are breaking in, in, in Niger? Have you not read, Mr. Have you not read? How many, people, how many people killed in Niger? Have you not or read? 20 killed in Niger. Do the government of the day give order to go and wipe the people in Niger off? Civilians off? No, um, let us set the record straight at this, at this point. What I'm not. Do you want to say I'm, coming, like I'm coming. I'm not saying. Um, any ethnicity should be wiped out of uh, their ancestral home and not advocating genocidal military invasion and not saying the military should be high-handed when they try to 
bring justice to their own that was murdered. But what I'm, what I'm saying is, the military, however I look at it, have right to protect lives and property. No. And if it happened in Bronu, and we are not seeing the same energy, the same vigor, the same tenacity with which they handled Okuama, I think it calls for question. But that is not to say we are, that, that is not to say that the military have no right to protect lives and property. No, see, let, let us be fair. Let us be said the truth. I myself, I am not against military to carry out assignment in a good way. I'm not against it. But now, the killing in Okoma, they said they killed 17 military officers. What caused it? Number one. People cannot come out and start killing military that you employ. You are paying with their tax, taxpayer money. You pray them to kill them again. Ask what brought that killing of, of military personnel, 17 or 16 in Okoma. Ask what has it. And in return, do the way military take to react, is it fair? Burning houses, excuse me, burning houses, destroying properties, pregnant women, elderly mother, children, youth on the run. Now, what military could have done is to, they have intelligent, secret intelligent people to go and do investigation, to start tracing and map out those people that committed that crime. And when you map out the, that camp, you hand them over to the law. Because now it's a civil case. You hand them over to the law. When you hand them over to the law, then let the law take its course. Not that you went and said, destroying the whole community. Look, look at the one that is happening now, but. I'm um, sorry, uh, Mr. Para. I quite agree with you. We have seen military genocidal invasion in different parts of the country, even before now. We saw one in uh, Zakibiam. We saw one in um, Udi. And recently, we have seen one in Okwama. Nobody is encouraging even it. In but what I'm saying in essence is... What I'm saying in essence is, no, if they do that, it has been established, even by the most respected uh, legal luminary, I'm talking about uh, Falano, that it amounts to collective, collective punishment. But I think uh, we can let you go because of our time. I know you can go on and I know you as uh, someone who is knowledgeable in this area, but permit me to let you go. This is Sightline Media. Thank you very much for your time.